Notre prophète bien-aimé, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, vivait-il comme un roi, comme un prince d'Arabie, avec tous les butins de guerre qu'il faisait Ça, c'est souvent ce qu'on dit dans le mainstream, comme on dit. Mais ce n'était pas le cas. C'était un prophète. Et tous les prophètes, franchement, ils ne vivaient pas comme des princes. Allez, on écoute l'histoire. Omar ibn al-Khattab, radiyallahu anhu, once entered into the house of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for the first time. And as he sat down, he had a smile on his face when suddenly he began to cry. Yabki. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam looked at him and said, Ma bika ya Umar? Radiyallahu anhu. He said, Ya Rasulallah. He had looked around his house, you see, and he saw that the Prophet's house was extremely simple. His mat was made of straw, and he could see the marks on the Prophet's body. His pillow was stuffed with coarse leaves, and he could see the effects on his cheek, his blessed cheek. He looked at the corner and he found some barley which was not attended to, still in its mother stem. He looked at his Uh, his lamp, his lantern, and he found that there was no fuel in it to light it up for some light and heat. He said, Ya Rasulullah, the emperors of Kisra and Qaisar, of Persia and Rome, they are reclining on silk and eating from the most exquisite meals. Everything they want is there for them and wearing from the most expensive clothing. Wa anta Ya Rasulullah, you, a messenger of God, the best of all human beings. Fi hadha, like this. The Prophet ﷺ stood up and he smiled to teach us a lesson, not to wail and whine. He said to him, Ya Umar, Ala yurdiq, anna lahum al dunya, wa lana al akhirah. Does it not please you, Ya Umar? that all they will get in the end is this temporary life and then they'll chuck it all behind them. They won't take any of it with them. And we have the hereafter. Obviously when he's saying to Amr al on the hereafter, Amr al understands what this world means and what the hereafter means. It's an everlasting bliss that never, ever runs out. You'd be crazy if I said to you, if someone said to you, uh, work and work all your life and struggle and struggle for 50 years so that you can receive one minute of pleasure. Would you be sane if you were to go through hardship and plowing for 50 years to receive one minute of pleasure? Would anybody do that? No, no one would do that. So we plow and struggle for the 60 or 70 years of our life, which in the end is only like a day or an hour. Allah says, and they leave behind them an enormous day, which is everlasting in the hereafter. So Umar ibn al-Khattab replied by saying, he wiped his tears and he said, Bala, Bala ya Rasulallah. Oh yes ya Rasulallah, this is exactly what we want. Merci d'avoir regardé. Et à la prochaine fois, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.